James Whitey Bulger, I think, is, uh, history will show, is one of the more significant crime figures in the 20th century. No single criminal has ever been able to corrupt the FBI to the extent that he did. To me, growing up in South Boston, he was a kind of mythical figure that um, everyone knew ran the town. He was also kind of a father figure in the neighborhood. On Monday, a jury in Boston convicted crime boss and alleged FBI informant James Whitey Bulger of racketeering, conspiracy, and murder. He was arrested in 2011 after 16 years on the run and now faces a sentence of life in prison. As Brian Kelly, the prosecutor, described at the openings, Whitey Bulger was a hands-on killer. He killed people himself. Whitey Bulger brought the FBI in Boston to its knees. He succeeded in enlisting and corrupting a band of FBI agents in Boston to serve him and protect him, to enable him in the late 70s to rise to underworld power, and then had his back during a reign of terror. There was an FBI national policy to take out La Cosa Nostra, and in that guise they decided to make deals with criminals like Whitey Bulger, Irish American gangsters here in Boston. The problem with that is twofold. First of all, Whitey Bulger didn't know much about the Mafia. Second of all, Whitey Bulger was as bad as anybody in the Mafia. And South Boston is a player in this story. Southie is very Irish in ethos, and there's nothing there that's prized more than loyalty. Loyalty to your family, loyalty to your friends, loyalty to your neighbors, and loyalty to your neighborhood. Uh, but when loyalty comes to mean that you can kill me in front of 100 people in a crowded bar and that nobody's going to speak up, then loyalty has become a bad thing. And that happened. That happened in our neighborhood. For more than two decades now, the horrible truth has revealed is that he's a rat, uh, that he oversaw drug trafficking. Indeed, he's admitted in his, his opening argument that he made millions off of drugs. So the myth of Whitey Bulger has been exploded. He was indicted in, in, in early 1995, and he escaped uh, because his corrupt FBI agent handler, the key agent you know, who was working with or for him, uh, tipped him off. The FBI in this case is an unindicted co-conspirator. His lawyer made it clear in his opening statement. Jay Carney said he was not an informant and he did not kill those women. He spent his entire life creating this narrative arc of him as a good, bad guy. A gangster with scruples, a criminal with standards. And a gangster with scruples does not turn on his friends and he does not murder defenseless women and bury them in shallow graves.